The number one theme of this video is for you, the trader, not to get wrecked. We're going to discuss BitMEX as well and leverage using that and technical analysis where we are currently in the marketplace. Now, I am a consultant with VCN and I work with Evo and you know, I provide education and trading signals and, and trades. You know, you can see them in the live account you know, as I do them. Um, one thing I have noticed this week, we've had a lot of negative FUD. And this FUD is either coming from the market being down, which is understandable and causing people stress, or from other groups trying to pilfer customers and create negative dissension against me. Um, I'm an easy target because I will beat the crap out of people who go over and say things that are self-destructive to other traders or themselves. You develop a negative psychology, you, this type of psychology will actually hurt you as a trader. Let me make that as a key point, and that's why I go against it. But you know what? My uh, method of interacting on the chat room is not working, and all it's doing is inciting people like into riot and to uh, complain to Ivo, and it, it goes around in a circle, and it's really a waste of time. So I'm going to change that framework to a more positive one. Um, but I'm not going to allow people to do destructive things. So if they do the kind of comments that they've done in the past, you're going to get a timeout and warnings at the very least. And uh, if you continue, you will be banned. I just have to let you know, you know, I want this to be a constructive place that people could actually learn and could focus on the trades and get a real education, basically. I mean, when I look at all this FUD and all this, here's, here's a good analogy before I go to the charts. Um, watch this clip, and this pretty much says it all. <laughs> so no more of this. and do something I normally don't do. I'm going to discuss a future buy position at around 28 on NEO. Now I'm telling you this ahead of time. This is my next buy position. I'm going to have an order right there that resides right there. And somebody was asking me this. Um, one of the uh, uh, admins, um, you know, why didn't I just buy above you know, if I saw that this was a good area and whatnot. Well, number one, I can't predict the future. I don't know where prices are going to go. And number two, I never, ever, ever chase price. Never going to happen. I let price come to me and to my logical levels, or I don't get filled, period. And that's a matter of discipline um, as a trader. Uh, this is one thing that I, you know, gonna, I'm going to stress and that should teach people is you have to be very disciplined and focused. The market doesn't have to go where you want it to go. And uh, developing the psychology of chasing price is a sure way to fail. Um, so I don't do it. So I just want you to know that. Uh, and uh, you can see here this is my buy point. It came very close. Uh, and then it bounced back up to... Uh, uh, this uh, previous point around 32 then it's trading back down and it might very well go back to here and never trade at that level but I'm not going to chase the price I have my area I know what I'm looking for if it hits or not is not up to me I don't predict the future I trade the levels that are there um, and you know when I sell it oh, it'll be the same thing uh, but that the point is you don't chase price um, and you stick to your plan. Now I really like it when others point out things without me having to point them out. Um, Longhorn gets the gold star of the day and he pointed out a key demand zone which is at 5500. That yellow line just above that macro blue buy zone that you see in the chart and where the start of the red line uh, intersecting with it 
begins is a key demand zone. That's also an area where I will be buying more Bitcoin. And I'm looking to sell that, what I, which of which I buy it down there, back to or above that, that purple line or around the purple line, I should say. I've got levels that I'm looking at around the 7,000 area that uh, would be very key for me to scale out of the buys. So uh, I'll have an update that goes more detail into this chart. I've not posted it yet, but I just think it's a good thing that uh, he was able to recognize that. Uh, he's a, a hedge fund manager and so forth, but uh, uh, so maybe he gets an unfair edge in that area, but uh, still good for pointing it out, and it's something that you should uh, be aware of. And uh, I want you to look at this chart. You, I'll show it to you in the future. I'm not done with it. I've not posted it yet. It'll be coming later this week, <laughs> probably on the uh, weather report. And uh, just to give you a clear understanding of the, what I'm looking for in prices and uh, ranges that possibly will occur in the future. Now, I recently got asked about the Bart Simpson pattern, and I got to tell you, this is self-derived um, newbie hype. And uh, if you look in the charts, you're not going to really find this being useful or tradable. And this is more just for a red edit and to give somebody the, the simple psychology, oh, look at this pattern, it's going to make me money every time, and it's, gonna, it's what, how the market works. Uh, law of observation will not allow that to occur, and markets are nonlinear and complicated, and you have to learn real technical analysis, not garbage like the Bart Simpson pattern. Um, it, that's just hype and to make people think trading is simple, and it's not. And if you follow that, you're likely going to get wrecked. You're going to get wrecked, and you wrecked. Everybody is going to get wrecked. Hello? This can't be right. Cowabunga, motherfucker. And, uh, you know, I, I've done very well with them and, and so forth. But I've got to tell you that this is a very dangerous platform for the average person to use, and I would not follow my trades on it. For them and uh, you can see I've done very well and from 128 all the way up to where are we at 641 I've made an over 400% return that is amazing you know no uh, doesn't matter um, now I understand the form of manipulation and the the way that certain traders on this platform trade and I don't like it, and I'm kind of against it. Um, they're not, uh, they're, if they get investigated in the future, they're gonna have problems. That's all I'm gonna state. Um, what they're doing and how they go about move prices, especially on these future contracts, uh, are, are problematic. And um, I'm very much uh, against their uh, pricing and their spreads and uh, it's very unprofessional of them and I, I'm going to not promote or uh, push BitMEX because of this especially to newbie traders uh, the leverage up to 100x unacceptable um, uh, I do not want to see such and uh, you know uh, I, I think most traders will blow their accounts and they want you to use this because you know 100x uh, they're getting higher trading fees based off of your trades they don't care if you win or lose that's regardless but they make more money and their funding rates and so forth which they calculate every eight hours and it's kind of silly the things that they do in here and they're allowed to get away with but this is what Arthur Hayes has set up and uh, this is uh, uh, a great, you know, way for him to make money uh, off of you. Um, now, that's not to say the platform itself is not useful or um, you can make money. As you can see, if you go to my account and see how well I've done, I, I, could, I smoke them left and right. They're not very talented traders or market makers on this platform. And uh, they, their own manipulation can be used against them. But... Regardless of that, the average newbie trader would get smoked and would be traded against and, and possibly hurt mainly because of the leverage factors. Uh, never, and I, I repeat this if you're hedging your Bitcoin, never go above a liquidation price that goes against, uh, against the 
general market deviations. And I'll discuss that in the future um, as a way of a percentage in money management and uh, risk management that will uh, illustrate this to a, a high degree. Um, but for the most part, I'm not going to promote this. I'm not going to push it because of the fact that uh, uh, some of the things I've seen on it are unacceptable. Um, uh, I'll, I'll take the SEC's line and, uh, you know, uh, avoid uh, pretty much. I hate to say that. But uh, if there are other traders that uh, the other trader that does trade this, and he trades this very well. So I think following him would be a better person than me. Um, you know, risk is relative. Anything you can make, you can lose. And that's all I'm going to say on this. And again, I'll illustrate in the future what I'm talking about, and we'll see how that goes. We'll, we'll watch him trade. If you want to follow his trades, Trader 2's trades, uh, on this in the future, I don't know what they're going to do with that, but we'll see if we can, uh, you know, see the outcomes of that in the future and go from there. <laughs> but that's my thinking, and this is why you won't see me pushing this too much, because it, it's, it, it could do more damage than good, in my opinion. So to wrap this up, don't chase price, don't over leverage, you know, and uh, don't create FUD in the room and stay positive, even if the market's down, develop a winning psychology, not a losing one. And other than that, I hope you enjoyed this video and have a wonderful day.